and welcome to this really fun diary entry from Flowmotion. Today I've been thinking a lot about motion graphics and how I've been neglecting them lately. Are we not friends anymore? How can we get back to the good times we had before? And I have found the perfect solution. It has been five years since we last spoke about handwriting animations and how to create them. And a lot has happened since then. I have a new and improved faster, better and way more easy approach on how to create them in a super realistic way. So if you want to learn that too and also become friends with motion graphics and flow motion, simply hit the subscribe button and stay with me for the next few minutes. I know, I know, most of you just really quickly want to see my workflow and how I created this. To also make it as easy as possible for you, I created chapters, so feel free to jump directly to the animation part. And for all you non-hectic subscribers, I will also show you how to integrate the text so it looks super realistic. And once we are done with the animation, I will also show you how to animate this in 3D space and also how to animate a pen to follow along. So let's get this going. At first you need your text. And if your handwriting looks like mine, you may be better off searching for a realistic font on the internet. And I have my font from today's sponsor, Envato. And if you want to follow along, you will find the asset I'm using in the video description. But more to that later. So let us now take the next few minutes to really get this to look realistic before we start animating. A good way to do it is within the characters tab. For example, if your word has the same letter over and over again, you want to change the size or use a capital once in a while. And you also want to work on the tracking, so the distance between each letter. And in that way you can get from something like this to something like this. Now let's bring in a paper texture also from Envato. And with a displacement effect on the text, I can now use that as a displacement map. So the ink will react to the paper. And if you want to learn more about the displacement effect, check out this cool tutorial where I show you how to animate a still image as well as become invisible. All with the displacement effect. Okay, so this is looking great. Now you can quickly pause the video and do a few more instances of the text, mask out parts, play with the displacement and maybe also add a roughen edges or even a blur to some parts. You know, it's all about the details. And once you're happy, we can continue together and start animating. And we do all of that with the stroke effect. So let's quickly jump in this comp here where I have created a pretty easy text so you can see what we will be doing. We need to create a stroke that follows our handwriting. And if you stick with me for one more minute, I will show you how you can do that with the least amount of effort. But for now, to understand the process. We have the mask and in the effect we can now set this to reveal the original image. So in our case this would be the text. But before changing that, let's set our stroke width in a way that it covers the whole letter. Perfect. Now we change it because now the stroke works as a mat for our letter. And with the start and end we can now animate the stroke. Indeed super easy. So let's keep it easy. We need to trace the handwriting and this could be super time consuming. And I really wish there would be an easy way. For example, simply writing over it and use a nice handwriting font as a guidance. But we would need then to have the path as a mask in order for the effect to work. Or, well, then let's just do that. For that we need the motion sketch window and we set it to show the background. So we can see the text. So before we hit start, let us create a null object where we store our writing information. Because we can use that later on for many fun things when we jump into a 3D space. Now hit start capture and yes, you guessed it, simply write with your mouse or if you are a total nerd, I mean an expert, then use your pen. And it is as simple as it gets. Once done, we have hundreds of keyframes stored in the perfect timing. And I'm super happy that I did not have to do this manually. And as a next step, we now have to convert the position keyframes into a path to use for the stroke effect. And no worries, today we keep everything at a low pace. So again, a super easy trick. Simply create a mask on the text layer and this could be just a point because now we can copy the position and paste it onto the mask path. Done. Live slow, die old. Again, we can play with the width of our stroke, 
set it to reveal and simply use one of the keyframes to animate all of this. And if you only wanted to learn how to animate handwriting, I say goodbye for now, my friend. Don't forget to leave a subscribe click on your way out. And for all you who are up for learning a bit more today, let's jump into 3D. And we can do that by pre comping everything we have done so far. But before we do that, let's quickly copy our null object and leave one of them out of the pre -comp. In this way, we also have our position keyframe still available in here. Now we can set it to 3D by enabling it over here. And let us bring in a pencil. Once again, I have that from Envato. And over on their page, you can find over 22 million assets and the pencil is out of their 3D collection, where you can choose to download your file from any perspective you wish, already pre-keyed. Perfect workflow if you have your lazy day. But they also have footage and stock videos, most of them in 4K, as well as fonts, for example, the one we use today, Photoshop templates, as well as thousands of After Effects templates and presets. And I have a link for you in the video description that will give you 70% off your first month. So perfect to try it out and you can keep everything you download in that test period for a lifetime. Now, on the pencil, let's set its anchor point to its tip, as this is the part that needs to be aligned. And you can do that with the Y tool. So once done, also set this layer to 3D and we can simply parent it to the null object. Already looking super cool, but we can do three more things here. First, let's work on the animation. So we create an extra animation null object and we parent our existing one to this. So why are we doing that? Well, in this way, the pen follows the animation of our letters, but we can add a second animation on top without messing up our standard animation. For example, we can now animate the pencil going up in between the words. Okay, next let's also add a light to the scene. We can use a point light and make sure that it is set to cast shadows. But now our assets should also accept the light and shadows. So within their material settings, you can simply enable that. Also, you can now animate the camera and set depth of field and set this to the tip of the pencil to give it a macro lens look. Hey, and here's a really cool trick. Because I want to focus on the tip all the time. So I simply select the camera and your animation layer, then go to layer, camera, link focus distance to layer. And now whatever I do to the layer, to the null or the camera, the tip of our pen will always be in focus. And as we have lazy tutorial day today, let's not make this too long. The only thing left to do for you is to subscribe before you can finally take a nap. And if you made it to the end, type in live slow and die old into the comments. Hey, and you can also use the comments to ask questions or suggest new tutorials. And I will answer all of your comments, promised. But for now, I wish you a lot of fun starting digital diaries in After Effects.